Company and this is our car. Uh, we have participated in Sukhna in 2011 and uh, I would like to thank uh, our sponsor Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited for sponsoring our car and I would like to personally thank uh, SA India and uh, ANSYS for providing such a great platform to students. In this competition, for the analysis, we have used ANSYS software and ANSYS has given us this software free of cost. In our car, we have uh, totally categorized our car into four different verticals and have used ANSYS especially for these different verticals. Chassis, which holds the entire car. Next is suspension. The All the suspension hub, everything is analyzed using ANSYS. And the third part is engine intake and exhaust, which plays an important role uh, at a race. And the fourth part is the aerodynamic point of view using CFD simulation in ANSYS. We have published a paper in an international conference in SAE and the title of the paper is Design, Analysis and Testing of the Primary Structure of a Supra Car. The Supra SAE vehicle has a space frame chassis made up by a mile stick. The design of the space frame chassis starts with three conditions like safety, the reliability and also rigidity of the chassis. It started with a seat design. After that, we made a dummy chassis made up of uh, plastic tubes. Our main aim was to have very good uh, rigidity. So, we took the frame into ANSYS. There, we done structural analysis of the frame in different conditions like braking, acceleration, lateral acceleration, and also bump loads. In ANSYS, we model the entire frame with the help of pipe elements and we keep on giving the constraints and also loaded conditions to the frame. Uh, we can able to see the areas where the frame has uh, high stresses and where the frame doesn't have any stress. We can also be able to find the deflections by applying the real world loads to the chassis. The areas where a lot of stresses are there are beefed up with the help of gussets and uh, areas where there, there are no stresses, the pipes are removed. So this gave us a chassis which is very good in safety, rigidity and also weighs very less weight. And this was really helpful in iterating the design. So at the end of the day, we, we got a frame which is good in very good in rigidity and also in safety considerations and also ergonomics point of view. In the end result was very good compared to the previous design. That was possible with the very robust analysis in analysis within a left one. All forces acting on a race car, such as acceleration, braking and cornering, are reacted through the four contact patches of the tires. The function of a suspension system on a race car is to ensure that the four, four uh, tires are always perpendicular to the road surface. Now the first step in, in suspension system design starts with design of suspension geometry as in uh, the, uh, uh, point, the hard points where uh, the wind balls, the spring uh, and uh, the other components are situated. The, the next step is to design the suspension uh, components such as wheel hub. Uh, we use the uh, ANSYS workbench to analyze these components for, for the various forces that are acting on the car in the dynamic area. The forces that were considered were 1.5g of cornering, 2g of braking and 3g pump. And uh, these were taken into ANSYS workbench wherein uh, the, the forces were uh, again uh, transferred onto the uh, various components and uh, the way they are acting. The resulting stresses and the factor of safety was obtained through uh, ANSYS workbench. The advantage of using this tool was that we could do design, analysis related to all the components in a single package. This was the main advantage of using ANSYS Workbench as a complete package. It reduced our uh, uh, design and analysis time task. We have simulated all these intake and the exhaust components in the ANSYS CFT package. We have selected ANSYS ICM CFT as a preprocessor, solver as a fluid, by sticking to the supra SE regulations, we have uh, simulated the air intake system like uh, the components like the air filter, the velocity stack and the connecting tag. So uh, the bell mode within the velocity stack creating so many, so much of turbulence in, inside the air intake system. So we have removed that and analyzed it the same, I guess, uh, same intake uh, system once again for the project of analysis. So we have got that, we have simulated the air filter as a porous medium in the fluid. And Finally, we have got the pressure drop of 7.3 millibar, as a, which is a quite acceptable. The absorptive type muffler was also analyzed in that, and the porous media was uh, the porous media was taken as the uh, glass pool. And for that, we have 
we made it the same thing for the as a back budget. So in that way we got the 23 millibar as a back budget. By all these things we have improved the performance of the vehicle at the lower and RP. Aerodynamics is one of the most important aspects while dealing with the design of the base car. Like we talk about the lift or the maximum downforce that the car can generate while cruising at high speeds. Drag influences the aerodynamic performance of the vehicle like in terms of the fuel economy. And we are more concerned with the fuel economy for especially these type of events where we have an award for the best fuel economy to take. So while designing the car for aerodynamics, we consider the drag force, the underbody as discussed, normal firewall and the vague region that is created uh, due to the firewall. So working on these areas, we could uh, improve the aerodynamic efficiency in terms of the track. Once the roll cage was ready, we, we started sketching the body panels. Based on the finalized sketch, we developed the CAD model. And that CAD model was taken into a meshing software. Then we meshed it. Uh, a control volume was generated around the car just to simulate uh, the real-time condition. We carried out the CMD analysis using fluid. The velocity was given as the inlet boundary condition and pressure was given as the outlet boundary condition. Based on the CFD results, we kept on modifying it until the results were satisfactory. We are Sultans of Speed!